Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Let's draw some faces today. We'll use a Pentel pocket brush pen. The brush tip will prevent you from getting into details. And for the shading, we're using a felt tip brush pen from Faber-Castell. Don't worry if you don't have these. You can use a brush and watercolors or whatever medium you like. But let's keep it at black and gray, as simple as possible, so we can focus on shapes and shades. Drawing faces is a great practice and you can do it from the comfort of your living room. You can combine watching TV with drawing. Just pause the screen for a few minutes to draw someone's face and then hit play again until you see another close-up that you'd like to pause and draw. For today, I found the trailer for the movie The Artist, which I actually never have seen. But seeing this trailer reminds me that I should. Picking black and white images could be handy. It helps you filter out unnecessary information, like color. Use your brush pen to draw the face on the screen. Start anywhere you like. I often start with an ear or an eye or the outline of the hair. Find reference points, like the top of the ear is on the same level as the eyebrow. Then move on from there. So I'm drawing the eye and then I just boldly add some strokes where I see dark bits. I'll just sort of travel around the face, adding the elements that I see. If I make a mistake, I live with it. If you try and correct it using the brush pen, you'll end up with a black stain rather than an indication of the chin or the nose or the hairline. And this actually also makes you work a bit faster than when you would draw with a small size pen nib. Now the grey brush pen will make all the difference. You're adding shadows now and that brings depth and life into the face. Look at the screen and see where the dark patches are and add them to your drawing. Don't worry about any likeness. It doesn't matter if your drawing doesn't look like the actor on screen. This is an exercise, not a piece of art that you will hang in a gallery. Choose your images smartly. The previous image I drew from had great contrast and dark shadows. This face is lit in much softer light, so the shadows are less strong and therefore harder to draw. Often it's more interesting to draw faces that don't have a model's perfection. I really like faces with very strong expressions on them. It brings a lot more character and it's more fun to draw. You can fill a whole page with one face or fill a whole page with many. Just keep in mind that the brush pen doesn't allow you to work very detailed, so don't work too small. I hope you'll be watching and pausing a TV show tonight. And I hope you have fun studying faces using black and gray. And if you're looking for more inspiration, head on over to sketchbookschool.com.